In this video, we're going to discuss the 5 best monthly paying dividend ETFs to buy now. We're also going to talk about the main benefits of investing in a monthly dividend ETF. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Investors who are risk averse favor investments with high yields and low risk. Certain exchange traded funds, or ETFs, provide benefits and dividends. Most ETFs pay dividends quarterly, but some offer investors monthly earnings. The rising popularity of monthly dividend ETFs has prompted major hedge fund firms to offer a large selection. Investors have numerous options, but knowing the factors to analyze in monthly dividend ETFs is key to making the right investment. We're going to explore the best assets, detailing their features and benefits. Investing in the best monthly dividend ETF enables investors to increase returns by reinvesting more frequently. It's a predictable income stream assisting with budgeting and providing a balance for risky investments in a diversified portfolio. Let's review our top 5 monthly dividends ETFs to buy now. Number 5. iShares Preferred and Income Securities ETF, ticker, PFF. iShares Preferred and Income Securities ETF is managed by BlackRock and began trading in 2007, accumulating $15 billion in net assets. The fund tracks the ICE exchange-listed preferred and hybrid securities index. PFF provides exposure to around 500 U.S. preferred stocks offering a 30-day SEC yield of 5.33% and a 12-month trailing yield of 4.63%. The largest portion of its securities is invested in the industrial sector in Broadcom. Other investments are in Wells Fargo, Nextera Energy and Bank of America. The fund charges investors annually 0.45%. The fund's highest price was at inception, reaching $50.40. The price tumbled until March 2009, reaching an all-time low of $14.30. PFF's price formed a V-bottom and climbed to $40 by September 2010 and has consolidated since then. Number 4. Invesco KBW High Dividend Yield Financial ETF, ticker, KBWD. The Invesco KBW High Dividend Yield Financial ETF invests at least 90% of total assets in securities of publicly listed financial companies offering competitive dividend yields. It tracks the KBW NASDAQ Financial Sector Dividend Yield Index and rebalances and reconstitutes quarterly. Some of the companies the fund invests in are Chimera Investment, Orchid Island Capital and Armour Residential REIT. KBW started trading in December 2010 and invests in around 40 securities, providing investors with a 30-day SEC yield of 10.04%. The fund's 12-month distribution rate is 9.50%, and investors incur a high expense ratio of 2.59%. The fund's net assets are $427 million. In mid-September 2022, KBWD's price is $17.38. The fund's price peaked in May 2013 when it reached $26.66. The price ranged until the beginning of 2020 before plummeting to $9 in April. The price recovered to $21 in two months but is pulled back slightly. Number 3. Invesco Preferred ETF, ticker, PGX. Invesco Preferred ETF tracks the ICE B of A ML Core Plus Fixed Rate Preferred Securities Index. PGX doesn't buy all the securities in the index but rather uses a sampling methodology to achieve its investment objective by rebalancing the fund and the index monthly. The fund's holdings consist of almost 300 assets, with the majority in the financial sector in companies such as Citigroup and Wells Fargo. PGX began trading in January 2008 and has assets of $5.3 billion. Its 30-day SEC yield is 5.78% and 5.61% for the 12-month distribution rate. Investors pay 0.51% annually to own the fund. The fund traded at $12.40 in mid-September 2022. Its high, $22.65, was reached when it started trading. The price reached its low of $6.14 in February 2009, then formed a V-bottom and spiked 145% by 2013. Since then, PGX's price has ranged, with its current value at the bottom of the range. Number 2. Global X Super Dividend ETF, ticker, SDIV. The Global X Super Dividend ETF has provided monthly distributions for 11 years because the fund invests in 100 of the highest paying dividend equities globally. Its global investment strategy has enabled investors to reap high yields and achieve geographical portfolio diversity. The fund is largely made up of financial and real estate sectors in the United States and Brazil. Some of its biggest holdings are common stocks and real estate investment trusts, REITs, in companies such as USU Property CO Limited, 
CPFL Energia SA and Omega Healthcare. Since its inception in June 2011, SDIV has built up net assets of $765 million. Its net asset value in mid-September 2022 was just under $9. SDIV's price peaked in August 2014, reaching an all-time high of $26.19 before entering a downtrend. During the global lockdown in March 2020, the price dropped to a low of $8.08 .08 and looks to be retesting that level. The fund has a 0.58% total expense ratio to own the fund. SDIV has a 30-day SEC yield of 11.57% and a 12-month trailing yield of 13.64%. The index review occurs quarterly and is based on dividend cuts or a company's dividend policy outlook. Number 1. Global X Super Dividend US ETF, ticker, DIV. The Global X Super Dividend US ETF started trading in March 2013 and amassed net assets of $723 million. The fund targets low volatility, high yielding assets in 50 of the highest dividend paying equities in the US. The fund is primarily made of up companies in the financial, utilities, consumer staples and energy sectors. Its major holdings are in Sabine Royalty Trust, Iron Mountain, and Consolidated Edison. DIV investors enjoy a 30-day SEC yield of 6.81% and a 12-month trailing yield of 6.12%. It offers an annual expense ratio of 0.45%. The fund is trading at just over $20 in mid-September 2022 and reached an ATH of $29.94 in November 2014. The price plummeted to an all-time low of $10.58 in March 2020 and has doubled its value since then. DIV's price chart indicates a possible V-bottom formation, usually signaling an uptrend. What is a monthly dividend ETF? An ETF is a pooled asset investment tracking a particular index, aiming to replicate its results or achieve better. It functions similarly to a mutual fund, but it can be structured to track commodities or a broad range of securities. It's a basket of securities trading on an exchange, the way stocks and other assets do. A hedge fund manager selects a pool of securities to invest in and then periodically rebalances the portfolio to achieve the highest returns. The selected assets are income-producing securities providing a dividend yield of at least 2%, distributed to investors monthly. Investors can choose to withdraw their ETF dividends and exchange them for cash or reinvest them into their portfolios. What are the benefits of a monthly dividend ETF? Investors owning monthly dividend ETFs enjoy certain benefits that may provide an advantage over owning quarterly paying dividends. Provides a steady income, owning monthly dividend ETFs enables investors to budget because they receive monthly passive income. Monthly dividend amounts tend to be more consistent than quarterly dividends, so it enables investors to achieve better cash flow forecasting. More frequent reinvestment, investors wanting to optimize their returns prefer frequent dividends to reinvest so that their interest compounds at a higher rate. Highly diversified, to provide investors with high yields, fund managers seek the best securities. That usually requires investments in global equities, reducing the risk of domestic market crashes. Even if invested in a domestic monthly dividend ETF, investors can choose from a broad range of sectors. What to look for in an ETF? Making the right investment requires investors to analyze several key factors in ETFs. Net assets, the net assets figure of an ETF is usually indicative of a fund's popularity. Investors prefer investing in funds providing high returns, so those ETFs have accumulated large assets. Funds with small assets depict limited investor interest and can be risky investments because of their uncertain nature. High asset funds are more likely to provide long-term growth and stability. Trading volume, shares are traded among buyers and sellers. To profit from capital appreciation, sellers need to sell their shares to buyers. That's the reason it's crucial a fund has a high trading volume enabling traders to sell or buy at any time to lock in the best prices. Underlying index, the best ETFs track popular indexes, striving to replicate their results or ideally achieve even better returns. Investors need to gauge the performance of those indexes to determine if it matches their investing goals. Expense ratio, high expense ratios make low returns even worse, and they can significantly reduce profits. ETFs shouldn't have high expense ratios because they are passive investments. Reliable brokers, investing in a high-yield ETF is futile if investors cannot withdraw their funds. It's vital for investors to choose a regulated broker with a proven history of managing client funds and providing returns. Which of these ETFs that pay dividends on a monthly basis do you think would make a good addition to a portfolio? Let us know in the comments below. For weekly updates on the top stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment tactics for wealth creation, 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.